up with me. We Marvin Bennett. Fight against them, don't fight against me. And stand up for my
upon the mountain of Zion. For here the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We're just going to sing Amen from our hymn book. Amen. I'm using my hymn book tonight, Betty. Amen. There is a great hill far away without a city wall. The idea the Lord was crucified. He died to save us all. There is a great hill far away without a city wall. Oh, 
Lord will heal a snare for me in horns. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set rings for me. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their bodies cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise back up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall talk the violent man to overthrow him. Yet as a reading of God's own word, we honor by saying, Amen. Amen. Amen.
I come back, I'm back to business for me. process. One man called me and said, you must be the luckiest man on earth. Oh, God is with you. Just like that. A friend of mine as a doctor, I know him for 20 years, called me and he said, for some reason, God wanted me to do something for him. Guess what? He invested in me, helped me buy the company, make me happy. Never, never, never give up. Never. Stick with him. Stick with him. Because you know what? Right here, I went there with nothing. And I came back. Yes. God bless him. Everything that I have. Hallelujah. God. Todo lo que tengo es Dios. You know? Lay hands and pray over me. Yes. You know? El apóstol ha puesto su mano en su mano. Antes de que yo me fuera de aquí. Yes, that's right. Yes. 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 The man of God is the connection to God. El hombre de Dios es la conexión a Dios. He is an angel sent from heaven. Es un ángel venido de los cielos. And until we realize that, until we understand that, we cannot be blessed. No podemos ser. But my brother, he believed. He believed. Pero mi hermano que habló, él creyó. Not in the bishop. No en mí. But the Christ in him. Pero en Cristo que hay en mí. And tonight he is blessed. Y esta noche él está bendecido. Amen. Un aplauso para el Señor. Aleluya. Esta noche. We're going to send the praises up. Esta noche vamos a mandar nuestro. So the blessing comes down. So the blessing comes down. Amen. El que no entiende el inglés la 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 no no. Pero no se quede quieto. Wonderful testimony. Queremos otro testimonio para seguir. Shall we praise the Lord? Yes. 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 Then for the bishop. Have you been the Puritan Consensus? Yes, you've been the Consul. Then for our bishop Mara. Then for our bishop Mara. Then for our bishop Benny. Bishop Pastor. All other offices and members in a respective place. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Saludos a todos. I just want to sing this song for my testimony. Lama ba.
Then next to the uncle called the by name, please don't fix me, Belba and my bishop there, Marvin, Ray, and any other members in the audience. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? As the brother said, walk by faith and not by sight. Shall we bless the Lord? You know, this Christian world, this Christian journey is a little bit swaggy at times. But for the 10K race, we are one for Jesus. Anytime you reach, down at the back, you are going to get a trophy. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? So, this Christian journey is not easy. The brother already explained to you. And, and I am not here to tell you that I am perfect. Or any individual person inside here is going to be perfect. But when you fall, get up. Push off. Get back on the horse. Because Christ was the head of our affair who sit over us is a jealous God. And if you are Saul, then he will just kick you off of the house and just put it on one side. So, virgin, I'm going to pray for your faith and you pray for mine. Because this Christian race will be around. I don't look back for you, but I'm going to stay at first. I'll catch the button there with the one can meet you. Who's going to come in Jesus' name? Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are standing on the preacher's time. Can I get an interpreter? You know, an interpreter to just, you know, we're standing on the preacher's time. Yes. Sí. Sí. Amen, Virginia. You hear my voice? I believe my voice is gone somewhere in Panama, so you don't have to come back, alright? Yes. Have to come back to Panama again. Last time I leave my jacket. Yeah. And I came and I received my jacket. Now my voice is gone. Yeah, and I'm also I'm losing the English. The, the Spanish is chipping, so if you hear me mock with the English, don't feel any way. All right, but you will hear more from me. Mañana noche. You see, the English chip out and the Spanish chip in. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Please stand the way. Please stand the way. Amen. Coming to give you the word tonight. Amen. Is no stranger to me. One who. I can attest to it. Amen. One who is growing really fast. One who I know very well. Yes, he's my blood cousin. Yeah, family. Yeah. Yes, and tonight I take it a great privilege. Amen. To introduce to you, Amen. Our night speaker, appointed Bishop Ray Foster Jr. Put your hands together for the man of God. Good night, everyone. First, I must greet God, which is the head of my life. Then to the bishop of the house. Then to my bishop, right, Reverend Ray Anthony Foster. I greet all the bishops on this platform, ministers. Everyone in your respectful office. My key word to you tonight is unity is strength. United we stand and divided we fall. When two or three touch anything concerning God, is there to bless and to do us good. And again, he said, Behold how good and how pleasant it is. For brethren to dwell together in unity. So, I'm asking you if you're in unity tonight. When I'm finished preaching tonight, I want you to examine yourself. The problem is we have the, the, the lack of love. Because if we love our brothers and sisters, we won't destroy them. Bless the Lord. Today I'm going to speak about these two brothers. Cain and Abel. Cain 
was Abel right hand. And Abel was Cain right hand. Knowing that you have a brother and whenever something is wrong you can lean on your brother. The Bible tell me that at a point in their life they will give an offering to God. And when they give the offering to God God will receive the offering and bless them. So one day the brothers they were giving their offering to God and God received Cain offering. Cain picked the best out of his garden and Abel picked the best sheep in his flock. The Bible tells me that when he gave his offering, God received Abel's offering. And he did not receive Cain's offering. But God of son is not in the physical eye. Because if you look through the physical eye, you would say he has done himself well. But his heart wasn't in the right place. The Bible tells me that after God received his gift, his brother came grudge him. And after his brother grudge him, he became wrath started to develop in Cain. He was grieved over his brother blessing.
for to take my time with you. And in Genesis 4, verse 9, he then, he then declared and said, And the Lord said, Where is thy brother? And he said, I am I am I my brother's keeper. You can't be a brother's keeper and stab your brother in his back. You can't be a brother's keeper. And as your brother slip up, you tear him down. When a brother slip, you're supposed to be there to hold him up. Because we are all human. And we have sinned and come short of his glory. I'm coming down. So tell your neighbor, instead of tearing down a brother, Encourage a brother. Encourage a sister. Because when you encourage a brother, when you encourage a sister, God will bless you. Our ah, prosperity will come. The ocean will come. You will look at life and say, Life is all easy. So, I'm coming down. I don't want to take up your time. So, how can you be serving the same God and you're fighting against the church? You can't fight against God's kingdom because we are serving one God. Not dust, not twelve, not three, but one God. So tell me, if you're fighting against me, and I am a child of God, that means that you're fighting against God. So you're fighting against God. So you think you could win that battle? I can't win that battle. Oh, my God, not cross. My God is a jealous God. My God came and you take it. bless you if you love your neighbor if you are serving God he will not harm you he says his children must not beg for bread so if you are a child of God blessing must come prosperity must come but you can't sit and expect it to come. Ah, the Bible says it's sin to be the lazy man. So if you're not coming, if you're coming to the house of God and expect it to sit and get the blessing, you made a sad mistake. God, my God, my Lord, He said it's sin to be a lazy man. All in front, Austin has come in his temper. I'm worshiping the spirit and the truth. Just fight 
nothing against one another. The key is love. If you say you love me, why stop me in the dark? If you say you love me, why stop me? I'm coming down. The bishop is the head of the church. The bishop is the head of the church. And when he come and go in his office, and he stand at this podium, and he tell you to uh, just worship God, and he tell you to love your neighbor, and then you don't love your bishop. Look at you. I love my bishop so much. But when my bishop gives him to the office day, and I'm going to talk to the bishop, you know, it's God who is talking to the bishop, and you're criticizing what the bishop is doing. Yes, yes. Don't criticize what the bishop is oh, doing. Because yes. if you criticize what the bishop is doing, you're criticizing what God is doing.